Hey YouTube, Herbal Prepper here, and today I'm going to tell you about a few things that will be very useful to you after the crap hits the fan. Now, you'll find a lot of these in your local garbage cans, or if the crap hits the fan, you'll probably just find them laying everywhere. Now, I'm not endorsing you going into people's homes and stealing things from people. I'm not saying that you should go to a home that is occupied and, like I said, go in there and ransack them. I am saying that if you happen to be walking along the street and see, you know, someone was going to throw this out before the crap hits the fan, and that right there looks like garbage and no one's laid claim to it, then there you should. So uh, you should definitely search it, and if it's something that might be useful for camp, bring it back. Now, a few things here. This is, um, it used to hold oranges, and after I'm done with them, I usually would throw this away, right? But after the crap hits the fan, you don't want to throw this away, or you want to find this in the garbage if someone threw it away. Now, this can be a net for fishing, of course. This can be made into cordage. This can be made into a drying rack or a sack to hold and transport things. A drying, an idea of a drying sack, you can, if you harvest some herbs, you can stick your herbs in there and hook it on a tree or something. And as the wind blows, it will dry out the herbs. Because uh, you don't want to just lay your herbs right here and the wind blow because it will you know, blow them all down the camp. Then you won't have them. <laughs> so this is very useful. You can actually take uh, something hard like tinfoil after it's balled up and put it in here. And it becomes like an SOS pad to clean your cast iron because I'm pretty sure you're going to be cooking on some cast iron pots at camp. So you can clean your cast iron like this. Okay. The next thing you might find lying around or in someone's abandoned home is tin foil. Now you see this tin foil has a little edge here. Now this little saw can be used for something small to cut like that. Um, I wouldn't use it to go cut no tree down because it's probably not going to work. Um, but this is very useful. Uh, let's say you have you know a little seven, eight year old that's trying to help you, dying to help you, and you don't, obviously don't want to give them a knife. You can give them this, and they can saw at things to help you. You know, give them a job and say, here, help. Um, the next thing I want to talk about are these jugs. You'll find these jugs laying everywhere. Now these jugs can be turned into a hand washing station. You can add soap to it already with a little bit of clean water. Wash your hands and if it's not soapy and you know if it's not too soapy you can just kind of uh, wipe your hands on your pants and go on about your business so your hands will be clean. Um, you can turn this in just to a watering station. Uh, bleach it out and use you know to whatever. I mean I would turn this into a hand washing station. You can mount some toilet paper on the top here and stick it inside your um, your outhouse. Okay. Next thing you'll find laying everywhere are going to be these jugs. Now once you clean these jugs you can store um, rice and beans and other types of food in here and flour or whatever. Um, if you don't want to clean it, you don't care to clean it, you can use this to store your ammo. If you have a bunch of ammo just laying around because the boxes, after the boxes get wet, um, they're going to break apart. It's cardboard. You want to keep your ammo dry. Always keep your powder dry. Okay? You can cut this, turn this into a funnel. You can cut the bottom off and turn it into a gravity filter. Um, you can actually put a bunch of water in this after it's been purified and use it to drink. A lot of things you can use this with. The last, well, not the last thing, but next to the last thing, these books. You'll find books and magazines and Yellow pages, do not overlook a yellow page. If you see a yellow page, you take that thing back to the camp. Um, you can use this for tinder. You can use this for toilet paper. Now, how are you going to use this for toilet paper? Well, I was raised in a large family, and with that being said, my mom did not have a large budget to go out and spend a bunch of money on toilet paper. So we had what we had, and when we ran out, guess what? We were out. So I started realizing that I ran out a little early almost every time. So I had a bunch of paper from doing my exams and things like that. My homework, I would fall up paper and I'd say, God, that's not good enough. And I'd throw it to the side. And then I started realizing, huh, I can ball this up and unball it and then continue to do this. And I noticed this paper right here turns to this. And I would use this for toilet paper. You just simply throw it in the garbage after you're done wiping your butt. Very, very simple. Okay. Um, this is actually comfortable compared to some of the really crappy brands of toilet paper out there nowadays. You can use this to dry your hands. Um, a lot of things you can use this for. But if you have a bunch of paper, in which I did when I was in school, you can turn it into toilet paper. 
the last and final thing, these, you will find these blowing in the wind. If you do, and you have someone that crochets back at camp, bring them a whole buttload of them. Now what you're going to do is you would cut this, you would fold it and cut it as you need to, and this basically turns into what you would crochet with. Now, like I said, if you have someone back at camp that knows how to crochet, this can be turned into a, what is it, a garbage bag or Walmart bag blanket. I don't know the technical name for it. But um, a lot of the churches around here, the older ladies that do crochet, they will actually turn these bags into crocheted blankets for the homeless. And they'll go around and turn these into the homeless shelter. Nice size, you know, a five by five or whatever. And uh, don't even ask me how many bags you'd need, but there's a good video on it for on YouTube for crocheting bags into blankets. And you guys should check that out. But there it is, guys. There's one, two, three, four, five, you know, six things that would normally be overlooked as garbage that you can scavenge and use uh, after the crap hits the fan. So I hope this video is a blessing to you guys. Until next time.